What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 19th Pi Game tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be talking about is how we're going to start molding our snake function, which is actually up here. How we can start molding our snake function to handle the increasing length of our snake whenever we run over an apple and eat the apple. So first what we, I guess what I want to start with is the way that we're going to draw the snake is by drawing a bunch of different blocks side by side that makes the snake. And so if the snake is say three segments long, you've got the snake head and then you've got two other segments. Well, the location of those segments are just direct copies of wherever that snake's head was either one position ago or two posi positions ago. So what we want to do is we just want to have a list and we want the snake function to draw the snake based on all the elements in that list. And then each time the snake moves, we just append a new location, the X and Y location, that new location is appended to that list. And if the list is longer than the length of a snake, then we delete one of those, um, well, the, the most last, <laughs> should I say it right? The last addition uh, to that list. So anyway, that's the idea. So within our snake, um, our snake function, Really, we have a few things here. Obviously, we have like snake, uh, we've got lead X, lead Y, and then we've got block size. Well, really what we want to have here is we just need a couple of things. We just need block size, and then we need snake, um, snake list. And then in our function, what we're going to ask is for, you've got, let's see, snake and... So we'll say for, uh, we'll say x and y. So for x and y, we're just kind of specifying a variable. For x and y in snake list. So for each like element in snake list. And what snake list is going to be is a, uh, is a list of lists. And each, so it's e each list in the list is going to be a list of x and y. So like, it'll be like, one comma two and then three comma four or something like that. So for X and Y in snake list, what do we want to do? Well, we tab this over and we basically do pygame.draw.rect and then instead of lead X, lead Y, the X element will be the first one. So it would be X and Y zero. And then this would be X and Y one. And that would draw um, the snake. So we've got snake block size, snake list. So now we have to actually pass the snake list through our snake function. So we'll come down to where we're calling our snake function, which is here. And again, that what the element or the things that we pass through here are going to be uh, block underscore size, and then comma snake uh, snake list. And now. We have to kind of define some variables to be a snake list. Okay, so first we need snake list, and that's going to be an empty, empty for now. Because basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to copy the X and Y because our snake isn't getting any longer yet. So we just we just really want this snake list functionality to work first, and then we'll work on making the snake longer and, and all of that. So first snake list, empty list, um, and then we've got the snake head, which will just be like where is the head of the snake at the moment? Again, empty list. Then what we're going to say is snake head dot append lead underscore x. So now we're referencing that lead x variable, and then snake head dot append uh, lead underscore y. So now snake head is a list of an x element and a y element. Now all we have to do is we need to do snake list dot append um, snake head. So snake head. And now, once you've done that, we can call the snake function, and it's going to run through block size and then the snake list, which in this case is always going to be one long because we just have the head and, and then we're clearing the list every time because this, this definition of all this stuff is occurring here in our while loop, so while not game exit. So basically, every time we're clearing the list. So we eventually don't want to do that, but we'll get there in a little bit. So anyway, save and run that. And that's good, no errors yet. So now we'll run around like this, cool. So we're able to move the snake and that's basically what we wanted to make sure could happen is that we could move the snake 
and things would work uh, as expected. I cannot get this apple. There we go. <laughs> so, um, so some of that stuff uh, might have been somewhat confusing. So I just want to run through really quick one last time what is happening here. Um, so at the top here, what we're doing is we're expecting this snake list through our function. And then we're asking for the elements in snake lists. We could say element here, but I'm calling it X and Y because that's what it is. It's a, it's a small two, you know, two element list, which it contains our X variable and a Y variable. And then we're just, we're referencing them as zero and one since the zeroth element in the list is the first element and the one element is the second element. So this is our X, this is our Y as we're drawing. And then down here is where we're actually finding those variables. So we've got snake head, which really snake list is only consisting of a snake head right now because we're clearing the list every single time. But eventually we'll have snake list up in the game loop and it's only redefined once in the game loop. So when it's game over, it'll be redefined. But um, so then we have snake list, empty list, snake head, empty list. Then we append X to the snake head and then Y to the snake head. And then we append the snake head to snake list. So it's a list and a list now. And then we're drawing it, updating it and all of that. So anyway, hopefully uh, that's not too confusing. And now we're ready to uh, begin making our snake a little bit longer each time and all that. So that's exciting. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.